All right, so we're going to head down to our fun little um, branch mine to get our diamonds. And we get to take our diamond cart, or diamond cart, our mine cart. So here we go. All right, fun, fun, fun. So daddy takes a mine cart away or something like that. That did not come out right. That sounded really bad. We're almost there. Like I said, we're just looking for enough diamonds for oh, ouch, enough diamonds for a table and a pick. We need the iron or the diamond pick so that we can get the obsidian, and we need the diamonds for the the, the enchanting table. And I don't want to get more diamonds than we need right now because I want to wait until we have fortune before I. I haven't been here in a long time. I want to make sure I have fortune before I go for more diamonds because um, we just don't want to waste them by getting them with a regular pickaxe. So which way should I go? I found the other diamonds right here. And what level are we on? Our feet are on 11. So definitely diamonds straight ahead and below us. So let's just continue the branch mine pattern. And then we'll go back over that way later if we have to. But I'm only looking for... Five diamonds? Five diamonds. We need um, three for the pick and two for the crafting, or for the, and two for the um, enchanting table. And then we're going to stop there until we have fortune, which means I just totally repeated myself, but that is the way it is. So let's see. Let me get going here a little bit and then we'll start our branches. I just remember this is going to continue up above us. Oh, I heard lava. I thought I heard a zombie. Wait a minute. What? Diamonds already? Wait, I just found diamonds over there and we have diamonds already? Nice. Am I going to screw them up? Oh, I also changed my hotbar, by the way. See, I have a block next to my tools now. Instead of the block way over here. Because um, what was happening is I was getting in trouble where I needed a block faster to block something. And I wasn't able to because I was too slow. Well, let's go a little bit more. Am I going to run into lava? No. In fact, I'm going to... Ooh. I want to keep that lava, though. I don't want to make that obsidian. Let's change this around. And let's, let's see what we have here. Whoops. Let's just go like that for right now. Alrighty. Nice. Well, let's get these diamonds out of here. Let's see if we have the six we need right off the bat. Or the five we need. No, it's not looking like it, is it? Um, let's just dig this through quickly. And extract them carefully. And get some torches down. Actually, let's put a torch down there. All right, here we go. Let's see how many we have. There's one, two. There's two. Okay, well, that'll make the table, but we need to make the axe to get the obsidian to make the table. So we have to keep going. So that's going to be it for that area of the chunk. I guess there could be some below, but there won't be any above. So let's see where I'm at in terms of continuing my branches. We'll have to branch outward a ways. So here we have, okay, so there's going to be, it ends there, so right here it's going to go in, it's going to go into there, which means it's going to go one, two, three, it means it's going to go into here, and then one, two, three, it means it's going to go into, skip, two, into there. See, I'm just trying to continue my pattern. So we go in there. I should probably put a torch up there too, huh? Which means it'll skip two, which means you're actually one up too high to branch in this way. Alright, so let's go like this, and this is where a branch is going to be, and then we'll just continue the pattern. So, um, because I found diamonds right there, I'm not going to find them for a while yet. So I'm just going to branch through until I get to either something scary like lava, or I'm actually expecting, I hear water, I'm actually expecting to run into that ravine with my head coming out into the ravine, which will be very interesting to make that safe so Creeper doesn't blow us up. But um, I'm just going to branch here for a while, and I'll catch up to you when I find more diamonds. Alright, here we go. We found our um, we found our ravine I was talking about, 
It's not too bad though because um Where'd you go, Stinker? It isn't too bad because at least her head isn't sticking up. So we can block ourselves in. I just want that skeleton to come back. I didn't want that coal. Oh well, probably not gonna happen. Um, but at least we can block ourselves in, I think. Oh, the creeper doesn't drop on her head. Oh, actually, how are we gonna get around this obsidian? There he is. Oh crap. Come here, buddy. I see you. I wanna fight you. I have the nice bow to do it too. Oh, you can't get through here, can you? No. Oh, I've got flame on this thing? Oh, nice. Okay, well, we got some iron in there too. You know what? Should we just run out and conquer this ravine? Just put our big boy pants on and conquer this thing? Oh, he survived, didn't he? Where'd you go, stinker? Oh, you're right. Where'd you go? Oh, gosh. Hey, come back here, both of you. Shoot the... There you go. That's what I was hoping you would do. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, you just take care of each other. There you go. Who's going to win this one? Oh, no. Really? All right, let's get this ravine taken care of very quickly. Very quickly. I'm actually very nervous right now because... You know this is out of my element. Big time out of my element. Let's go down here anyway. Take care of some of that. Where's my torch? I know I got another torch to throw down. There are a couple torches, I guess. Let's keep going. Let's take care of this. And we're kind of screwed here, aren't we? Well, this wasn't in my plan for today, but this is fun. I'm in a ravine, guys. A real ravine. Not a newbie ravine. But a real ravine. I'll make sure nothing's going to spawn around on top of this stuff. Yay, what a fun turn of events. Good, I can get rid of this now. This is no longer needed. I don't think. See, there's my gate or my bridgeways up there. Remember those from a while ago? Actually, wait, I don't need torches on the side because nothing can spawn where it's flat. I mean, where it's up column they can only spawn where it's flat so let me let me take care of some of this anything gonna spawn up there though can I get a torch up there there we go that help and then we got to worry about some lava here I'm actually looking around corners with my head how funny is that all right get some torches down oops get some more torches down we got some cavage, and then it gets, whoops, then it gets tricky here. What's that? A lava fall. What's up here? My act is about to break, and it did. Let's get a new one down there quickly. Well, this is a big deal for me, everybody. I was like, I'm caving too. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I'm caving, and I'm ravining, and I'm hunting for stuff. And I'm not terribly scared, only a little scared, but I can do it. I can put my big boy pants on today. Just want to clear all this out. There's all this iron, like crazy iron, man. This is insane. It's kind of a dark cave, though. I guess I can work that way, is it? And I'm on fire. What? Oh, that's right. I placed it wrong. So it's going to be kind of funny. The whole source block thing. Whoops, I just fell in my own little hole here. I'm expecting something to come out of that cave and get me. Well, it looks like it might even be not very much of a cave. So let's check that out quickly. And I really got to get back to my project. I'm getting really sidetracked right now in terms of what I was trying to do, which is not go caving. I was trying to... um. Go for diamonds. Instead, I'm in all these caves. Wow, there's a lot of resources here, man. This is awesome. Except I'm not here for that. I'm here for, um... I'm here for diamonds. So we need to get diamonds. But there's also all this iron, and I'm leaving all this stuff behind, I feel like. Uh, oh. Oh, wait. Where are you? Where'd you come from? I hear you. Are you up there somewhere? Are there other... 
Are there other caves around that I missed? I hear you, but I don't see you. You sound really close. Not place. Oh, there you go. Where are you? Where's my... Where do you come from? He has to be up there somewhere. Hmm. Oh, well, am I really down to nine torches? Wow, I really went nuts on those torches, didn't I? I don't have any coal, because I haven't caved on any coal yet. Well... I don't know where he came from, but let's look for diamonds, and then I'll come back. Oh, there you are. Get yourself. There you go. Come on. There you go. Gotcha. Where did you spawn, though? You must have spawned and dropped down, because it's lit up here a lot. Man, there's so many good resources. Look at all this stuff I'm missing out on. But you know what? First of all, I got to get my diamonds. That's why I'm here. And where was our little thing? Right there it was. All right. Let's keep going for diamonds. Move that so I can get over this. And um, we'll come back and get all these resources later. I do need, you know, I do have to grab some coal, though, so I can, um, so that I can make more torches. All right, let's see here. More torches. Should we go like this? Just make a bunch of that. Make a bunch of that and make a bunch of those that's good for now all right i am going to go back in my little hole here and keep looking for diamonds and then we'll come back and conquer this ravine at another time as fun as it is um we actually do have a mission here so i will be back when i find something blue and shiny so i've been at this for 45 more minutes and i haven't found anything in all my branches except this scary lava pool that goes way off that way and um man i don't know i found those six when i first came down here then those two right away in this portion of the episode but i haven't found anything since and i've been doing these branches about 60 blocks out so i'm making it through several different chunks and I was trying different levels and spacing them kind of far apart because if I found something, I knew I wouldn't find it right next to it. A ton of iron, though. I've gotten over a stack of iron, which I've been cooking as I get it. In fact, I'm upgrading myself to iron tools after these stone axes run out. But, um, yeah, it's been a lot of nothing, so I'll keep on going and let you know when I find something. While digging through this coal vein, we found some bedrock. That's at level 4, I think. But still no diamonds. I'm hoping that there'll be something. I'm getting kind of low now to really expect diamonds along bedrock. But I'm trying everything I can. I'm going to finish this branch, and then I'm going to go up a few layers. And keep, whoop, and keep trying to, um, keep trying to find some diamonds up there i'll be back yet again i found some gold this is the first gold i found since that other gold that i found several episodes ago um of course i went to the mesa in between to got get some but in this mine this is the first stuff i found since my original six pieces so this is exciting but it's not blue and is not going to get me a diamond pick oh there's that lava down there Oh, shoot, I want to get that. Actually, that's my other path. I'm kind of scared to step on that because it's gravel. Um, let's go like... Like that. And like that. And put my torch back. All right, there we go. Yeah, so there's that lava pit I was talking about. I already checked. No diamonds. I guess I could dig that way a little bit. But um, I'm just going to keep going here and... Catch you in a couple more minutes or less if I find diamonds before that. And there we go. Hopefully, and I mean hopefully, um, we have at least three. Which I can't imagine we wouldn't have at least three. I'm just going to quick finish off this run here for the torching. Ooh. Oh. Hang on. 
What's going on? Okay, that's just a torch from something else I've done. Whoops. I just didn't want to um, run. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's my ravine. Nice. It's my ravine that I conquered a little bit ago. So we'll just put that there with a torch under it so I know for... Oh, not like that. Like that, so I know for next time. Let's come back here and let's get our diamonds. Hopefully there are three. I hope there are three. Don't just be one. Oh, nice. Okay, so there's at least three. So there's one, two, oh, three, four, and five, and some gold. Nice. And some gravel, so let's be careful of the gravel, especially because there was a lot of lava around here before. And I'm doing a bad job placing my blocks because I'm so nervous and excited. So let's get that gold out of there just in case. All right, be careful in case something drops on my head. Oh, like a double vein of gold here. Well, maybe not quite. All right, let's see. Anything else up here? Nope, put a torch. And there's the ravine. Let me get this redstone quickly here. Is that all of it? Nope, there's more back here. Ooh, a bunch more. All right, and throw in a torch. We got five diamonds on top of the other stuff we got. So let's make our picks up top of our base camp, and then we'll get our obsidian, and we'll get moving on this enchanting table thing I've been trying to do for the past, oh gosh, I don't know, hour or so with you guys, and then this is a different day in real life. So let's get this thing done, shall we? All right, here we are. We got to make some sticks, I guess, and then we need to do that, and then we can make our diamond pick. Look at this. How exciting is that? And my phone just went off for some reason. Now we have all of that stuff left. So we're going to do, we're going to send some of this home in a minecart chest thing, which I haven't actually built before, so this is going to be kind of cool. Um, I need this and this. And we're going to go like this, right? Now we'll get us a minecart. We just need one. And then we're going to make it into a chest in my... Whoa. What? There we go. I guess orientation matters. So then what are we going to do? We're going to set it down here. I got so much junk here. Gonna set it down there. Then we're gonna open it. There we go. We're just gonna send the stuff away. Um, we have iron cooking. We can keep it. We already have that. I'm gonna say no. We're not going to make any more stairs. And I need to clear my throat. Excuse me. All right. Let's take some of this other stuff that we've been building up. Send our diamonds home and all of our other goodies. We need to keep our minecart for ourselves though. Uh, we'll I'm going to keep that other coal here. Just so we have stuff to cook with. Alright, let's send all this back. Fill up this cart. Oh, shoot. I wanted like that. That can go. That can go. We'll keep this, that, and the other stuff right now. Let's throw our extra coal in here. Um, all this has to go too, although I don't think that's going to um, all fit. Am I holding a diamond? Wait, what? Okay, whatever. Um, and again, more than I wanted to carry at once. And that's all full now. So let's put this stuff back where it belongs. And let's go down and get our obsidian. Wait, we gotta send this guy off. Do I just go like that? See you later, alligator. I shouldn't make it all the way back. I spaced the I spaced the power rails enough apart or close enough so that an unmanned cart should make it. So we should see that on the other end. Alright, we are gonna get our last piece of obsidian that we need for our craft or for our enchanting table. I just realized I had some obsidian left up on top, didn't I? So I didn't have to get all of this, but there we go. We got it and I have to remember where my water source was. I get my water back. I use that water trick so lava can't get me. There we go. We are all set after a couple hours, I guess, of 
branch mining, I got my diamonds. So let's um see what we have here. Take the rest of our st oh, that's still cooking. We'll wait a second for that to finish. All right, just like that. So let's um let's get our minecart down. I think I got everything right. Yes, let's get our minecart down. Hop inside, and away we go. And hopefully, at the other end, we will hit our minecart, but not explode it. I'm hoping. I hope that our minecart made it. Let's see here. Alright, we're almost there. And what's going to happen when we get up here? Oh, it's going to... No, 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 no. It sent us backwards. That's not good. Alright, I had to run back. And I think the reason why I did that is it stopped on the first thing. Yep. I put two down there thinking it would go to the second one, but it stopped on the first one. So that was a big bummer. So I'm going to have to figure out the mechanics of making that longer and then giving it a chance to stack carts, I guess? I don't know. We got a lot of stuff to clean out of here. I'm going to clean this out quick and then I'll meet you at our placement of the enchanting table. Alright, so here we are. We're going to make our enchanting table. Let's see if I remember how to do this on my own. I think you go like that. And there we go. Do I get an achievement? Not until I lie it down. So, we're not going to be able to enchant anything because I need some more books and I need some more cows, which I've been breeding non-stop to get enough. So let's sleep quick and I will show you what else I've done here. Alright, quick sleep. I'm just seeing if anything spawns. Alright, so everything's spawning out there. So it doesn't look like anything is spawning within my little kingdom area, which is good, which means everything is lit up. And how are those cows doing? Not quite enough for all my books that I need to make bookshelves. But, um, so be it, I really don't like having this iron door, but those pigments come up too much. So I changed this a little bit. I took all the torches out. That's not spawnable. This is, though, so I put a railing, which I think keeps it from being spawnable. We'll find out. It's open down there. Again, this is going to disappear. And if I come down here, you can see how to finish this off. I kind of indented a little bit with some posts. That way it looks done. Or I can finish it, do something else later. I dug this out a little bit. Um, this looks kind of strange, but that's just the way it's going to be for now. Because I, I want that glass to be visible from all the way up here. So that's why that's like that. So you see, that'll be all glass and open once that's open it'll make a lot more sense why i kept that the way i did but that's why that's like that um in the meantime we are going to finish well i guess we're not really going to finish our enchanting room because we don't have enough bookshelves to make it complete but we will finish it enough for now so let's put down our enchantment table like so and there you go. We just need a few more bookshelves to finish the area. I want to see what kind of enchantments I can get just because I'm curious. Um, it would be really awesome to get fortune, but let's see. Efficiency 2. Unbreaking. Efficiency. Yeah, I gotta wait to get that up to 30 before I can do anything useful with it, I think. But anyway, that'll do it for now. It's not a totally complete room, and... We're not done with the other rooms either, but that's what we're going to do. I've been doing this a long time. This is many, many hours of gameplay to get to this point just for this episode. So next episode, we'll finish this room. We will learn how to walk, and then we'll go to the Blaze Farm so we can get a brewery stand and make a potion. We'll make fire resistant potion is our first one, I think. We'll make some bottles, things like that. This room is actually done. Um, so look forward to that in the next episode. And then after that, we'll start preparing for the jungle. So until then, I'll catch you on the next one.